What is going on? Mr. Crazy 1870 with my final thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now we're gonna go ahead and kick this video off talking about the actual design. So the phone is made out of a plastic material. Obviously, the back plate is removable. So you're able to get to the battery micro SD card uh, and also uh, your SIM card. And one of the advantages is that you're also able to add more memory if you need it, or also buy an extra battery and uh you know, switch it or whatnot whenever you need some extra juice. Looking at the top, there's a headphone jack. To the left, you'll find the up and down volume rockers and a sleep and wake button uh, to the right, which I felt that the button is a little bit flat when pressing it. And towards the bottom, you have the micro USB port. So touching bases on the GS4 display, it's rocking a five inch Super AMOLED display with the res of 1920 by 1080, full HD. And once again, I was really happy with the display. Uh, colors are just super bright and eye-catching and everything just looks sharp and clear. The glass is also pretty responsive. Now, uh, when using the phone out in the sun, uh, I had a little trouble seeing uh, what was on my display, but regardless of boosting up the brightness, uh, you know, I still had a little bit of a hard time, uh, you know, seeing what, what I was trying to do on my actual uh, display. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. So moving on to the cameras, you have a front facing camera, which is a two megapixel shooter and also records in 1080p and video quality looked really good. If you have not yet watched my video test, make sure to watch it. But personally, I really like the quality of the front facing camera. It looks pretty sharp and clear. Perfect to shoot a quick vlog. Uh, when you're out on the run. The rear camera is packing a 13 megapixel sensor and image quality look absolutely top notch. Pictures have great detail and also very clear. And if you look at some of these, I mean, images pretty much speak for themselves. Now, talking about the low light performance, it, it absolutely sucks. Uh, you're definitely gonna see a lot of grain uh, in your images. Now, you also have a couple modes you can choose from. Now, the first one is auto, then you have night, which is gonna help a little bit with low light performance. Uh, panorama which creates a linear panorama image now this one here is pretty cool it's called eraser which erases moving objects uh, from the background now if we tap on this arrow you have a grip of filters to choose from kind of like Instagram so when it comes to the camera it's a full featured camera with a lot of options you could choose from including dual camera which lets you record and take a image using the front and the rear camera you also have a couple different effects you could choose from as well. So diving a little into the OS, it's running Android 4.2 watered down with TouchWiz, and I wanted to go over a couple cool features on the GS4. Now you're able to control the phone using motions and gestures. Now the first air gesture is air call, which lets you accept incoming calls by waving your hand over the screen. It's pretty cool, but I really didn't catch myself using it that much. Next is quick glance, which lets you view important information like notification icons, missed calls, unread messages, battery and current music info by just waving your hand across the sensor while the phone is off. Now this is pretty cool, but I didn't like that the phone had to be on a flat surface to work. And another one that I think is pretty cool is called Air Browse, which lets you move between pictures, pages, or music tracks uh, if you're listening to them at the time uh, by just waving your hand over the sensor. Now this feature I did use quite often. Uh, there's also Smart Scroll, which I do have a video on. I think it's pretty cool, but I just don't see myself using it that much. Maybe occasionally. Uh, there is Smart Pause, and it works well uh, when you're watching a video and you look away, it will pause the video. Again, pretty cool, but I really don't see myself using it that much. Touching bases a little bit on Air View. It lets you magnify web pages by hovering your finger over the screen. Same with the text messages. You're able to preview. Uh, your text messages by hovering over the messages and same with um, the folder in your gallery. Now, Better Life was really good. I would pull it off the charger around 4 a.m., use it all day, and by the time I got home around 3.30 p.m., uh, I still had a pretty decent charge on the GS4. So I got through the day, uh, I'm sorry, I got through a full day with no problems. Only thing to keep in mind is that it can it can take a little bit to charge, uh, but that's where an extra battery kicks in thanks to the removable back plate. The overall performance on the GS4 was really good, gaming and surfing the web, multitasking and whatnot, and I really don't want to show off some benchmarking and whatnot. Uh, there's plenty of videos of other people on YouTube doing it, uh, so if you'd like, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you search uh, benchmarks and whatnot, I'm pretty sure you'll find a video uh, that shows that off. Uh, other than that, uh, occasionally, I would encounter a little bit of lag when opening apps in the home screen, but I really wouldn't know why. And for the last and final feature that I want to show 
is the watch on app which lets you use the gs4 as a remote control now once you set up the app with your tv and cable box uh, you're able to pull up a tv guide and you also have a couple categories to choose from uh, you have tv shows sports movies uh, so on and so forth now as far as the on-screen remote uh, it's pretty straightforward you have the power button which is used to turn on or off your tv and cable box volume up and down channel up and down mute and a number dial pad now this here i definitely use on a daily basis because i could never find uh my remote so heading towards the end of the video the samsung galaxy s4 is packed with really cool features it has a super sick camera the device is slim and light and at the beginning when i first picked up the gs4 or the samsung galaxy note 2 uh you know like i was kind of talking shit about it like oh it's plastic it feels it feels uh cheap yes compared to other devices on the market uh it's different but i think it really helps uh keep the phone light and keep it looking original uh it's really not all that bad uh, but again, it really all has to do with personal preference. Uh, it's available for about 700 bucks, I believe, on a non-contract, or 200 bucks with a two-year contract. Now, if you're looking to jump the gun with one of these, I would say go for it. If you're looking for a new experience, uh, if you're looking to switch from uh, iOS or iOS is becoming stale, uh, then this is definitely something to look into. Uh, it's a really full-featured phone. It has a lot of features. Uh, it might have too many features for some people, but there's no doubt that the GS4 is a really sick phone. All right, so that's pretty much it for this one. Make sure to check out uh, all the videos covering the Samsung Galaxy S4. I have a playlist uh, on the channel, so I will have the link down below. Thank you guys very much for all the support. Follow me on Twitter, MrCrazy1870. Show me all your thoughts on the GS4 in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Late.